Hello and welcome. Today we'll be going over Numpy. So let's get started. Let's start with syntax. In this case, we have an array called array. It has values 0 through 5. If we wanted to sum all the values inside this array, we can use dot sum or np.sum, where the first parameter is the array. Now onto the most useful optional parameter axis. Imagine we wanted to sum all the columns. So one, two, three, those three columns. And we didn't want the sum of the entire array. We just wanted a new array with the sums of just the columns. That's where the axis equals zero comes in. This will sum each column and return a three element array representing the sum of every column. We can do the same for every row using one instead of zero. That'll return a two dimensional array because there are two rows with the sum. And then, of course, axis 2 and beyond continue the pattern with higher dimensional arrays. Now on to problem 1. Given an NumPy array A with a shape 2, 4, calculate the sum of all elements in the array. We want to calculate the sum of all elements in the 2 row 4 column array. We can use A.sum, and that will give us a summation of 20. Now on to problem 2. Given an MP rate B with shape 2, 4, calculate the sum for every column. So we'll start out with using the sum. And then we need to do something special here. We have to use the axis parameter. We're going to use axis equals 0 to get all of the columns summed. And that'll give us every column sums to 5. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit the like button and share this with anyone who needs it. See you in the next video.